Bentley. For the past three years, you've been a source of annoyance to Westmore College and to me. You said that before, sir. But I'm saying it now, for the last time. Though there'll be no misunderstanding, I'm going to recall to your mind some of the things that have happened since you've been a student here at Westmore, and which are held as a record against you. And I might add that the record is not a very good one for you either. During your first year, a fire engine appeared mysteriously upon the campus underneath my window, belching steam and smoke in the middle of the night. What has the fire engine to do with me, sir? The fire department proved conclusively that you were responsible for the fire engine being on the campus. During your second year, Sigma Delta Chi Fraternity House woke one morning to find no doors in the place. You were seen, Mr. Bentley, carting the front doors of the Fraternity House in your roadster. Can I help it, sir, if a lot of people have cars that look just like mine? During your third year, not to mention numerable fights and brawls, the mascot of Apple College, Billy Goat. A nanny goat. Ah, I thought I was right. Well, it was found here in my office. Now, if that isn't enough, I have complaints from the fire department, police department, and various fraternities. Now, all this makes you a very objectionable student, Mr. Bentley. And another one of those escapades of yours, and you'll be asked to leave Westmore. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Very well, that's all. Oh, by the way, one more thing. Ever since you've been a student at Westmore, I've tolerated you having a colored ballet. Why, I don't know what I'd do without Shadow. I've always had him. Westmore's no place for a ballet. Now, remember, this is your last chance. You get into trouble again, and you will be expelled. That's all. Yes, sir. Gee, Bentley, you're in a tough spot. Not you, Westmore. Who's going to look after Westmore's end of the track meet if you're expelled? Now, we're appointing ourselves a committee to see that you don't get into any trouble. Understand? Okay, where do we go? To the track for a workout. Oh, nothing doing. I want to go somewhere and forget the bowling out the dean just gave me. Come on. You fellas think you know it all. Well, let me tell you something. State's going to lose this track meet next month. If Westmore has Bentley in the run, what's to stop us from seeing that Bentley isn't in the run? Not a thing. We can never lay our hands on him. Oh, boy. Oh, Hello, how many? One more battle royal and he gets that game. It means that he won't be on the track team when State meets Westmore. You said it. Two chocolate sundaes, two strawberry sundaes, and a raspberry flip. No raspberry flip. Make it a lemonade. Come on, let's get out of here. The air seems to be a trifle, uh... Wow. Say, Mr. Jack? Yeah, perhaps it's a Westmore atmosphere. Maybe you're right. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm sure the air outside will be a lot better. Yeah. I'm glad this left. I like that fellow Jackson. They always make some remark that leads to a fight. Listen, that's just the one thing you can't do. If that happens, we're sunk. We're counting on you to pull us out and attract me. All right. Just as I said before, I'm glad they left. Forget it. The place is ours. Okay. Oh, I forgot my checks. What do I owe you? What did you have? Uh, four sodas. Forty cents. Oh. Lee, would you, uh, you mind playing that song that Westmore wrote in honor of State? Let's both sing it. All right. Good old State, 
Dear old Satan, you're in an awful shape right now. <laughs> Say, uh, what was that other song you wrote? You know that number you wrote? Oh, you mean the brown walls, the dancers. Yes. all about the ball and out the beam game. We'll keep them in check, and what we won't do to state next month will be nobody's business. Right. I'm gonna poke him one. And when I get through with him, we won't have to worry whether he's in the race or not. Right. Oh, oh look at here. Here we are. Oh, goody, goody. Mm. Oh, my lemon. Where's the spoon? Where's the spoon? Take the yeah. circle. I'll take the spoon. Oh, okay. yeah. One for you, one for you, and one for you. You've been looking for trouble, Bentley. No, no. On the contrary, I'm very peaceful today. Wait a minute now. Listen here now. Listen now. We didn't come here to start any fight. And we're not going to let you start one either, Mr. Jackson. Oh, you won't? No. Now listen, Ed. You sit down and keep out of this. They're going to start a fight in there. Call the police. Just what I always thought. Westmore College, the home of the softies. Yeah? Well, maybe you'd like to take a sock at me. Thanks for the suggestion. the machine all right. Well, he couldn't have got very far. You must have gone through here.
Tell Bentley to report to my office as soon as he arrives. Yes, sir. I sure will, Mr. Carter. Oh, Mr. Carter. How do you do? Won't you sit down? I just heard of your outrageous conduct this afternoon. Bad news travels kind of fast. Yes, so it does. But this last escapade of yours is more than the school will tolerate. You're hereby expelled. And you can start packing right away. And please take that with you. Did you hear what he said? Yes, I heard him. Seems they don't want us here anymore. Yeah, it sure looks that way. Well, go on, pack up. We're leaving for home. Uh, I'll try to get stand in my trunk now. Well, go on, go on. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh oh! This policeman's coming. Policeman? Yeah, I'll come on, uh, get the pack, and we're leaving for home right now. Out the window, I'll follow. Oh! <laughs> yeah, boss, you forget that I ain't got no wings. You sick it. Oh, my son is going flippity flop right now. Oh, there they are. Come on. We've got to hurry. Out the window. I'll lower you. Easy. Come on, come on. Uh, 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 don't, don't forget, you've got that in, and I'm on this end now. I'll remember. my motor. This is Edward Bentley, Sr. What, again? What are the charges? He is charged with inciting a riot, violation of the traffic regulations, resisting arrest, and stealing a motorcycle. Hello, well, sir. He wants to talk to you. Uh, this is Attorney Johnston, Mr. Bentley. Your boy has asked me to handle his case for him again. Yes. All right. That's right. Hmm. 
But what does it say? Why, this young lady's been threatened. Uh, who done it for what? My father's a very prominent gem collector. You're going to try and get a lot of money out of him. Hmm. All right, bail him out and send him home. Oh, just a moment. Uh, Bentley's father uh, wants to speak with him. Bentley. No, not you. Him. Oh. Uh, your father asked me to bail you out. He's on long distance and wants to talk to you. Hello, Dad. I'm sure glad you called. I have a wire in front of me from the Dean of Westmore. You've been expelled, and to cap the climax, you wind up in jail. Is there anything else that you can think of? Well, I might arrange to be kidnapped. Well, if you do, you'll stay that way. Now, you get home here just as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Well, what do we do now, Mr. Johnson? Well, the first thing is to, to arrange your bail and uh, send you home. And uh, then it will be the usual procedure. Your father will pay the bills, and that will be that. <laughs> That'll be that for here, but uh, when I get home... <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I've been in the same spot myself. Can we go now? Sure. Come on. Now, listen. You do me a favor, will you? Keep out of mischief for at least 24 hours. I have an engagement this evening. Okay. You have to steal something for the love of Mike. Don't steal a police officer's motorcycle. Can I go too? Sure. You bailed him out too, didn't you? Well, of course. You don't think you want him around here, do you? <laughs> I sure Come on. glad of that. Oh, 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 where are you all going, Miss Ed? To the bank, Shadow. To get the necessary dollars, to get the necessary tickets, to enable us to take the necessary train home. That's yours, sir. is ceasing to be funny, Dad. Why, it's gotten so that I can't go short even to the bank without being dragged back to the car and given away as if someone were going to murder me. Oh, 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 come, come, my dear. What is it? What happened? Well, that looked like an attempt. There's a tough look down at the bank. A young fellow and a colored boy collide with her. We weren't taking any chances. That's all. I'm sick of the whole thing. Well, that may be. Nevertheless, we must be cautious, my dear. After all, we've a great deal at stake. It's a well-known fact that I'm a collector of rare gems and supposed to have a great deal of money. A very easy matter for someone to get hold of you and demand a tidy sum for your return. That we can't afford to have happen. <laughs> oh, 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 come. Now, I will be wrong. Sell this collection, take a boat to Europe and do the Riviera, and have nothing to worry about. All right? Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> but I'm tired of being a prisoner. I wish anything would happen. Well, if you keep wishing that way, anything may happen. We never know. Oh, Haggard. You come along with me. I'll be back, you. Doherty. Don't leave here under any condition or let anyone into this apartment. You understand? Yes, sir.
That's one of the kidnappers. They must have the girl apartment house. Y'all better leave him alone. Don't we gonna be back in the jailhouse. How are you, Captain? Hi, Doc. Uh, wasn't that Mr. Smith that just came out? No, sir. Oh, I'm a mistake. It looked just like Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, he much shorter and stouter. Oh, is he? Or, uh, I mean, he is, isn't he? Sure. His apartment is just across from Dunderman on the 10th floor. Oh. Is there anything I can do for you, Miss June? No, thanks. Guess I'll take a nap, try to lose this headache. which is the apartment. I've got a powerful hunch. He is just begging for trouble. I'll tell you. We'll run by knocking all the doors. That way we'll find out which is the apartment. Boy, you is absolutely defying this. Come on, you take this side and I'll take that side. All set? Go. Stay here and keep out of sight unless I call for you. Well, well, I, I'll put it hard on you. You're telling me. Oh, uh, I'm from the telephone company. Where's the phone? Over there. Nothing the matter with it. Uh, slipped. There must be. I have an order to fix it. But it was all right a minute ago. That's what you think. Did you ever notice when you call a number, you sometimes didn't get it right away? Sure. Sometimes it does take a little while. There you are. That proves it. Now, let's see. Uh, the wire. Pardon me. That's it. In the room. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You can't go in there. But the wires go in there.
Did you see my... I think you'd better get out of here. Well, if I do, your phone won't ring in the meantime. Yes? Dorothy, I forgot the code book. I can't recall what I'm asking for it. Do you remember if it was $150,000? 48, Tester. What's that? Yes, I hear you fairly well. Why, I... Okay, I'll try that. Hello. 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 Agony, something has happened. We've got to go back. Quick. We'll have to try the acoustics. Would you mind saying, ah? Uh, ah. Uh. Fine. Uh, turn around, walk gently forward, and keep moving on until I tell you. Uh, now uh, we're getting uh, someplace. Uh. Oh, oh shh. It's all right. I've come to save you. Yes, we haven't a moment to lose. Oh, now, now, really, you mustn't. Now, never mind. We must hurry. We can find you here. Oh, you're right. Come with me. But the man that came in here. Why, Father, I didn't see anyone. You're just upset. The jewels are all here, sir. Oh. Well, it's strange. You must have gone out some other way. You must keep the windows locked, my dear. I just opened them for some air, Father. We've got to be careful. For the major portion of my collection here, we can't afford to take any chances. Now I must get that list I forgot. All right, Haggerty. Go around the alley and wait for us there. Okay. So, you stay with Dorothy. And don't let anyone in this apartment. Oh, Junior. You'd better stay in your room. You understand? Yes, Father.
Let's go. I just caught it. It almost burned. <laughs> Is that the way to the hallway? Yeah. Thank you. I'm sure you'll enjoy the steak. Stop that man. He broke into my apartment. I'm going to call the police. If you die, you're going to kill yourself in another jam. Maybe I'd better get back in the apartment myself. Well, I don't think I'd better go back in that house. Because I'm too well known. All right, I'll go alone. How would you like to make some money? Money? How much does I get if I get this? And what for? I just want to be sure you didn't want something else. We don't want anything. Hey! 
That can't do any harm. Hey! Police, a man has just kidnapped Miss Merton. The police are on their way. Thanks. Oh, no, we hurry up. I'm all packed. I'm not going to hurt you. I want you to do something for me. Wait here. I want you to take this to a man that's sitting in a dark blue coop in the alley. In a coopie? Yeah, in a coopie. Oh, what's that? Uh, laundry. Slippery. And here's five bucks for yourself. Now see that he gets it. Yeah, okay. Dad's lodge. Contact him there. She'll be safe there from the kidnappers. Uh, ain't she heavy? Heavy? No, she's just right. Well, before we go, I gotta take this tiger to man. If I don't, he's gonna be mad at me. Oh, forget it. Come on. again. So what do we do now? We cut through the woods only a couple of miles to the lodge. Uh, you mean walk? We can't fly. Uh, I can't walk much. 
Hey, you know the misery I have on my feet. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, what you gonna do with the lady? Well, I'll carry her. <laughs> Come on, pull up. Now, come on, let's go. You ain't going to tote her like that, is you? Or all the blood will rush to her head. Well, maybe you're right. Jesus. Oh. There, that's better. Now, come on and follow me and hurry, because it's going to be dark before we get there. Yeah. Oh, are you all right? Oh, yes. This is my father's lodge. I'll phone him and he can contact your folks, and everything will be okay. My, what an adorable place. Isn't it cute? Not bad. Now, would you like something to eat? You sit down here and I'll fix it. I'll help you. No, I want you to rest. You sit down and make yourself comfortable, and I'll have dinner ready in no time. Shadow, come with me. I've got something for you to do. I know that... you better do is go outside and get some wood for the fireplace. Yeah. Is they got any lions and tigers out here? Of course not. Those are in Africa and India. That's what I thought. But, but I was just checking up. You know, boss, I, I really should deliver that man laundry. Give me that. Go out and get the wood. Yes. Better try my hand. I, I just dropped some of the cans. So I see. Uh, you tell me where things are, and I'll get dinner while you set the table. Gee, I'll bet you're a swell of cook. Oh, I'm really very good. <laughs> On canned goods. I can boil water. Uh, and you got another apron? Here, you can have this one. All right. There you are. <laughs> oh, a little mixed up. You look cute in an apron. Oh, thank you. Hereafter, I shall only wear aprons. Oh, I, I mean, it's becoming. You'd look nice in anything. Oh, um, I'll hang up these coats when you set the table. Oh, all right, fine. Say, uh, did you ever see this one? You'll be careful, or you'll be eating out of the cans. Oh, that's nothing. Just the beginning. Oh. Watch this one. Never miss. Do you like to eat on the floor? Why? Well, the plates are there. Well, I think you'd better put the rest of them on the table. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to have you for a cook all the time. Oh. 
Come on now. I'll open the door. And don't you drop that. Who's that? Jake's car. They can't be far away from here. Sonia. What? Look there. See that path? It runs right through the woods. They certainly made it easy enough for us to find them, didn't they? Come on. So you knew I was June Merton all the time? Sure, I couldn't miss you. I saw those kidnappers grab you and I knew it was up to me. Well, would you mind calling your father and letting him know where we are? You know, after all, my father may not look at this in the same light as I do. Operator, I'd like to get uh, Brentland 213J, please. Hello? Hello, Dad? Where am I? I I'm at the lodge. I'll explain when I see you. <laughs> You'll have a lot of explaining to do when you see me. I told you to come directly home, and I haven't heard from you since you got out of that mess. Now, what do you intend to do? Now, here's the idea. <coughs> Hello. Hello, Eddie. Hello. Hello, Dad. Eddie. That's strange. I was phoning to my son. He's at my lodge. And just as I was talking to him, a woman screamed. That is strange. Something happened. I'm sorry, Mr. Merton, to interrupt this way. I'm interested in your collection. I've talked to Mel with you. Perhaps you can run me. You know, I have a daughter that was I didn't keep my eye on. Well, they should get together sometime. We'd have plenty to straighten out. <laughs> well, it won't take us very long to get there. Hello. Hello. That's strange. The line's absolutely dead. Gee, I, I, I don't know what a dad will think to send anyone up here. Miles is the nearest phone. Well, oh, I, I'm sorry, Oscar scared me. He's our pet mouse. He's been up here for years. Uh, shall we sit down? Shall we sit before the fire? Are you sure he's not under that cushion? No. Oscar's sound asleep by now. Oh, there you are. Shut up. What do you do with the package I gave you? Oh, oh, oh you use the man to give me the package to give to the man in the uh, in the cooper? Yeah, what do you do with it? Uh, well, there was no man in the cooper, and so we took the the the, the, the cooper and uh, and flew the cooper. Oh, we saw the coop all right, but what do you do with the package that Louie gave you? Oh, uh, I guess it's, it's done got lost. He's lying. Are those the only people here? Yeah. Don't lie to me. I ain't lying to you, Mr. Arthur. Tie him up. Come on, get over there. Hi, I, I don't know whether my dad will think to come up here now. I hope so. Yeah. He doesn't have to rush for my sake. No, I'm in no hurry either. Kind of homey and quiet like, isn't it? Real cozy. <laughs>
Stand up and put up your hands. And keep them up. Well, Miss Myrtle, remember me? I couldn't forget you, Sonia. You were about the worst maid I ever had. I only stayed with you long enough to find out what I wanted. I'm beginning to see something. You were responsible for those threatening letters we received. Yeah, who'd you think it was? Oh, I remember you. You were our chauffeur for a short while. You keep out of it, Louis. I can handle this little minx. Now, where's your father's jewel collection? You're just as stupid as ever, Sonia. Why, do you think I'd be silly enough to carry them around with me? They're safe at home. You think I'm stupid, huh? Well, I took them from your room and Louis gave them to the colored boy. You have them? We did have them. But the colored boy says he lost them. Where are they? Say, hey, that must have been a package that... Was that valuable? Was it valuable? That was only Merton's pet jewel collection, worth about $250,000. Where are they? Well, I, I don't know. You don't know? No, uh, uh, oh, uh, I threw them away. Look. Listen, we're no mood for play. Where are they? Don't tell him. Spell it. Now, uh, wait a minute. Take it easy. I, I got to think. Um, oh, I remember. They're over behind that couch. But you can take care of yourself. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Turn her over and I'll tie her hands. Gosh, I hate to be rough with a lady. But I can do this. You tie her ankle. All right. Now I'll tell you, I threw that package out the kitchen window. Let's go get it. Come on. Shadow, are you all right? Is I all right? Look at me here. I'm all tied up like a turkey or something. Come on, we gotta get out and find that package. I sure didn't work on you. You telling me? Come on. I'll take that. Take his leg shut on. We'll put him in with the rest. Is you sure it won't work, Mr. Sorry to stop you, Mr. Bentley, but our orders are to stop any car traveling fast tonight. Maybe you've heard it, but June Merton was kidnapped this afternoon. Are you sure? Positive. We got over the radio a couple hours ago. We closed every avenue of escape. Why? She's my daughter. You don't suppose that... Would you boys mind coming along with us to my lodge? There's something wrong there. Well, you lead the way.
given me the worry of my life. Gotcha. Yeah. Here. Here, here, what is this? This is one of the men that kidnapped Miss Merton, and I rescued her, Dad. You rescued who from who? My own daughter? Who is this? Who's he? This is my father. Your what? Oh, Mr. Merton. I guess I kind of committed an error, a social error. Hey, I didn't know all these was in this package, Mr. Ed. Look what I've got. Give me those. My jewel collection. So, you're not only a kidnapper, but a thief as well. But, Father, we can thank him for getting them back. Well, this is all too much for me. I think I can see through it, Mr. Merton. Perhaps we can straighten this thing out by ourselves. Well, it's all straightened out as far as Burns. Louis is known as a jewel thief, and Sonia is his partner in crime. Now, we've got what we want, and you've got what you want. So, as far as I'm concerned, we'll take them away together. Come on, bring them along. Mm-hmm. It seems that I went through a lot of trouble rescuing a young lady that didn't want to be rescued. Oh, but I did. You really should be punished for misrepresentation. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell you. You were doing such a good job of rescuing. Well, I'll forget the punishment, but uh, I expect payment for my efforts. What do I do now, Miss Daddy? Turn your back. 